Competition in China just works different. That's just the fact. Of, that's just the fact of how things work. <laughs> Uber's chief executive Travis Kalanick repeatedly noted that doing business in China was challenging. An investor. However, just a year ago, he was still calling it the company's most important overseas market. Today, Uber has given up on its Chinese ambitions. On Monday, the car-hailing giant announced that it would sell its business there to Chinese rival Didi Chuxing, becoming the latest American tech company to fail in its quest to conquer China. Previously, Facebook, Twitter, and Google all came up against the deal-breaker barrier of China's so-called Great Firewall, the strong grip of the country's censor on information available online. Companies such as Apple, IBM, and Microsoft, which operate in China, have recently felt a sales chill. That's in part because of government policies on cybersecurity. Beijing's rules favor domestic players, which supposedly produce more secure equipment. In the past, some other American companies have been too slow to adapt to China's highly competitive market. eBay, Yahoo, and Amazon, among others, have lost their battle to win Chinese consumers away from local rivals like e-commerce giant Alibaba. In Uber's case, it also lacked the powerful backers of its rival Didi, which worked against Uber in several ways. For instance, Uber says it has struggled to keep its accounts on Chinese messaging app and social network WeChat from getting shut down. WeChat is key for reaching Chinese consumers, and it is owned by Tencent, one of Didi's investors. If there's a positive story on Uber, then WeChat suppresses that story. If there's a negative story on Uber, WeChat pushes that story. Tencent has declined to comment on the account shutdowns. Didi has also been quicker than Uber at rolling out a wider range of services in China. So that's the scale. So when we have a large enough network, so there's more cars in the network, so the experience for the users, for the passengers, improves significantly. While Uber still only offers car healing in China, Didi has expanded into buses, chauffeurs for hire, and test drives for car shoppers.